So guys, I want to end on something a little more lighter. Uh, so Usefully Gracious tweeted this. Um, and I think this is a fun, this is a fun article. That'll be a fun conversation. Because this is one of the things where other lefties aren't on the same side as me about this one. And I'm a little surprised. Um, poll, should the voting age be lowered to 16 or raised to 21? This was taken in the Lehigh Valley. Students who survived the shooting at Stillman Douglas Park High School Board uh, in Parkland, uh, Florida, attended this rally. In some states, Maryland and California, municipalities have lowered their voting, their legal voting ages, allowing 16 and 17 year olds to participate in town and school board elections. Not everyone agrees young high schoolers are ready for this responsibility. Uh, some say the emotional backlash by students in Florida as evidence the U.S. should repeal the 20, 23rd Amendment and restore the voting age to 21. So because students that, what the fuck? Who says that? So there are some people out there that because students survived a school shooting and are traumatized by it and are speaking out about it and say this is bullshit and something needs to be done, those students that are heroes, by the way, because they're doing that, that's a sign that the voting age should be raised to 21. What type of privileged, out-of-touch fuck are you if you feel that way? These, these kids... They're, they're getting rattled by something like a school shooting. What a bunch of snowflakes. We can't do anything to protect them. We're not going to do shit about it because our government's bought. So let's up the voting age to 21. They're just too emotionally immature because they're emotional because they just saw a shooting. What planet are you on? And you don't know what I think? Yes, the voting age should be 16. I've felt that way for years and I still do. And you know, part of the reason I feel that way was because in 2016, I was touring a lot of colleges and it was an election year. And let me tell you something, these students were passionate about it. They were really passionate. And when I raised their hand, I, or I said, hey, who's all going to go out and vote? All the kids that didn't raise their hand, I was like, well, hey, why aren't you going to vote? They said, because I'm not old enough. But I really wish I could vote because I'm really excited about Bernie Sanders. That's what all of them said. All of them. Political apathy comes in all ages and political um, awareness and intuitiveness and uh, desire comes in all ages too. Marcus points out, if you die for your country at 18, then yes, you should be able to vote at 16. Yeah. And I think you should be able to buy a beer at 18 too, by the way. If, if you can go die for your country, you should be able to buy a beer. That's what I think. And this whole, like, I don't know if they're emotionally ready for it. Do you know how many ignorant people vote? A lot. And you know how many people bother voting at all in this country? Less than freaking half. Why? Because there's not options on the ballot most of the time. It's not the voter's fault. Our broken system isn't the voter's fault. Low voter turnout isn't the voter's fault. And apathy comes in all ages. There's 16 year olds that are apathetic as hell. There's 16 year olds that aren't. There's 30 year olds that are apathetic as hell. There's 30 year olds that aren't. There's 65 year olds that are apathetic as hell. There's 65 year olds that aren't. And Kate points out that Dylan Radigan said he'd never voted before. Some people don't vote not out of apathy, but out of the fact that they can't participate in such a broken system. I'd imagine that's Dylan's reasoning. I don't know for sure. I never asked the guy. And I do support, I, and I understand that point of view. Now, I would say, as far as people that never vote because of how broken the system is, I would disagree with that strategy because uh, on local levels, your vote freaking matters. Your vote counts on local levels. If I'm able to get municipal internet on some type of a ballot here in Pasadena, if I'm able to get it on a municipal agenda and nobody shows up saying they want that in their community, it ain't going anywhere. So people freaking matter. And the fact that when I showed up to the city hall the first time, the fact that people came with me, you know, we announced it on the Jimmy Dore show and people showed up with statements prepared. The fact that that happened helped us. It freaking helped. So yeah, you do matter locally. You can say all you want about the system being rigged and you're right. You can say all you want about superdelegates, about gerrymandering, about uh, voter suppression, about uh, both parties being bought and sold by the same people. And you're freaking right. 
But you know what? On the local level, you do matter. Despite the flaws, you do freaking matter. Joe was 17 when the 2016 election happened. Joe is now in school for political science. He's an incredibly bright person. He makes the clips on this show possible. If it wasn't for Joe, we wouldn't have any clips. Joe makes the clip one article at a time. He does an excellent job at it. And uh, you know the amount of guidance he gets from me? Nothing. He has full control over all the editing because he doesn't need my help. He does it himself because he knows what to do. And he has to put up with me who is totally ADD and will just randomly start responding to your chats in the middle of something. He has to deal with all that. And he does. And he does a great job at it. And he says, thank you. You're very welcome, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll end on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I mean, if anyone disagrees, let me know, but I totally, I'm a hundred percent voting age should be 16. Uh, most people disagree with it. Even over on the Jimmy Dore show, both Jimmy and Steph disagreed with me, but uh, I think this voting age should be 16. I think that uh, uh, the revolution song was requested, so I got to do it. You got it, Jesse. All right. So I am pro 16 voting age. If you can drive a car, you should be able to cast a ballot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.